Hey, good afternoon, and welcome to EliteHealthOnline.com. Thank you for joining us on today's podcast. Today, we have special guest Shane Rusk from Pharmaceo and Avexapel here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Shane, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Uh, excellent. And we have a great topic today on dihexa. Shane's going to tell us all about that. But before we do that, quick disclaimer, everything on today's podcast is meant to be for educational purposes only. Uh, please visit uh, your provider or we'd love to have you at EliteHealthOnline.com. Visit with one of our providers. We'll go over all that at the end of the podcast to uh, help you out. Um, if you're looking for an advanced HRT uh, and wellness uh, clinic to treat you anywhere in the United States. Shane, uh, Dihexa, I know this is uh, one of the newer products that you guys uh, have out there at uh, Pharmaceo now. Uh, dementia is a real problem uh, in America. I know I have family members that have suffered from this. Um, I know what I understand about Dihexa is this is something that's uh, designed to come on board uh, with early signs um, and help stay off um, that disease progressing. So if you would talk to us about what exactly is Dihexa, where did it come from? Um, and what exactly is it doing for patients, um, in, in that you guys are seeing? Sure. Yeah. So Dihexa is a, uh, it's a peptide, but it's in its own little class called a nootropic. Okay. Nootropic would be, um, uh, a class of, of substance or a communicator right within the brain. So a brain enhancer, um, to your point, uh, this is one that's, shown great data to be very supportive and cognitive function. So it's pro-cognitive. Um, and with any form of dementia or Alzheimer's or anything as an onset, you know, with beta amyloid, amyloid sheath and production and growth, you want to protect what you can in brain cells. And with nerve communication, this is extremely important. So this is prosynaptic as well. Um, but starting at the base, it's just a peptide variant that's been derived from angiotensin, um, which is a regulator for blood flow. So think about how important blood flow is for healing property, right? And you need blood flow to all ports, all, all parts rather of the body in order to maintain a homeostasis. This helps with that on top of other things with nerve communication. So what about someone who would maybe have some nerve damage in their leg, uh, maybe from mm -hmm. lifting or from spondylo um, just over years of maybe having um, just repetitive injuries and they're having issues with their left or right leg, for example. We see that quite a bit in some of our lifters who've been patients forever. Uh, is this something that's going to help in that area or is this only for brain function? Well, it can in motor skill um, because down the line, right, the synapse, every nerve has that gap where it emits neurotransmitters and communication, right? Mm -hmm. This is going to help right there, at least in the function of communicating down the line. So, yeah, neuromuscular uh, our neuromotor skills can be improved, but realistically, a lot of the improvement noticed has been focused on cognition. Okay. Um, you have to think uh, as a class two, what this does is it's going to improve your critical thinking, um, dopamine and noradrenaline as well. Those are down the line, which help with all kinds of things, even appetite depression, right. but um, healing and blood flow, because we talk about the, the fact that angiotensin with vasoconstriction is important to creativity, motivation. Um, yeah, it's all, it's a great so thing. This, it's called. Yep. So is this chain something that, uh, we, we get a lot of patients that are high performers, not only in the gym, but at work, right? Attorneys, doctors, um, you know, people that have high powered jobs, they need to be at the top of their game. Is this something yep. that would help those folks or do they need to have a true deficiency in this area? Or is it a lot like what we alpha brain or some of the other, um, kind of over the counter, neurotropics that we know about or they is it something like that along those lines to where uh, it would support someone who is functioning at a good level but they want to function at a great level yeah so this is the uh um the corporate handler i mean this is going to be one that people can take in mm -hmm. business it's going to be one that people can take to be on in a social setting if you have a presentation coming up I mean, think about these times where high stress um, reaction, you know, you want to lower cortisol and, and be on point and not have any kind of brain fog interruption. This is for you. Um, now, you do have non-responders. Some people have taken this at high doses and really got nothing from it. Mm -hmm. But perhaps they had no lack of, of communication within, you know, their brain cell or at the synapse. So um, it's subjective. Um, most will notice an improvement, though. And what people forget is the increase of dementia rate as we're aging and now about one in nine even healthy non-dementia related adults have cognitive decline right. right and that stat is ever increasing so 
You may not be one of nine now, but you could be. So this is also something you could take. This is protective. protective. Yeah, that's great. And then how about Adderall? Obviously, there's mm -hmm. uh, lots of patients out there utilizing Adderall to perform well uh, in the work world, at school, different places. Is this something that would be a safe alternative uh, to try for an Adderall patient who is looking for that performance enhancing? Yeah, benefit? yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not here to knock Adderall. It has its place. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, when you take an amphetamine derivative or a salt, you do have complication. You stress your heart, you stress your adrenals, you stress all kinds of things within your system. Um, mm -hmm. You can interrupt sleep, you can affect your appetite, um, blood flow. So this doesn't necessarily have those negative sides associated with it. Now, while Adderall it works and people that take it seek the benefit. Mm -hmm. This is giving you that benefit without some of that. So if anything, it's going to improve blood flow and promote healing. Whereas Adderall would not do that. Right. Um, and you won't have the same stress to your cardiovascular system in general. <clears throat> so I think this is a safer alternative. Yeah. I mean, there's no side by side study, unfortunately, but I'm sure we'll get there as this improves. But one thing that to note is this does cross the blood brain barrier. Okay. So that's important because of the effectiveness of what it's doing. Um, the other things that were trialed and studied for the past two decades, they couldn't get that. So this is a derivative they honed and made an amino acid sequence to work and cross the blood-brain barrier. That's why it works. That's awesome. Well, we're excited about it here. It's now available on our menu. Our providers are educated on it, Shane. Um, it's there. It's available for uh, folks to shop. So if you're out there, if you're looking for an advanced HRT clinic, if you're looking for some cognition improvement. If you're looking to be a high performer in the workplace, at home, in the boardroom, hit us up at EliteHealthOnline.com. We'll be happy to help you out. We can have you on the phone with the provider in just about 48 hours and medication delivered to your door uh, within another 48 hours. So we'd love to take care of you. Shane, thanks for being with us today. Thank you.